Assalamualaikum ji. Welcome back to an episode of Kya Kya Kazi. My guest today was Kamal Ahmed. Kamal Ahmed is the proprietor of Soul Sisters. Uh, she's also the host of Conversations with Kamal. We get to speaking about discourse around women empowerment, about the taboos around women in households, about discussion around assault, abuse, household violence, domestic concerns, and on the spirit of empowerment that she hopes to enamor her community members. <music> Three, two, one. Kamal, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Kaise hain aap? Theek. Is it that we were having a conversation before you said no, this? No, we weren't. <laughs> no, we weren't. Yeah. Please, please maintain character. Uh, yeah, we were, sorry. She just sat down. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Kaise hain aap? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How's your? So you've been back um, Pakistan for two weeks now. Yeah, this is the fourth week actually. Fourth week. How's it going? Really busy. I mean. You know, I I don't think you even knew that I was in Pakistan because I wasn't even getting the chance to really talk about it. No, yeah, you, I didn't. Yeah. Know, yeah, chance too, or is it by design? I think chance. Hmm. I mean, I'd love to make stories of what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm eating, but it just wasn't happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was mostly working. So. Yeah. Okay, and and is work good? Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah ka karam hai. Uh, so uh, what? Are you at liberty to speak about the work? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I'm just shooting the fourth season of my show, Conversations with Kavil, which is a YouTube only show, um, and uh, that. So, like I was telling you, uh, we work a lot on the pre-production. So pre-production takes up to two months, and I just like everything to be prepared, you know, just so that there's no surprises when I'm actually shooting it. Um, but of course, maybe you start in production. I think you start at you know point A and end up at point E in terms of the changes of plans. Sure. Like in, um, it's it's sorted. It went alhamdulillah quite well. I actually just before I came here, I went to see um, the footage with the editor and just to tell her that what kind of things me, me, what kind of problem is there? What kind of things me, me, what kind of problem is there? And I think it's turned out pretty well. It's but it's very different. Very like, different to the other very three. Very different. To the other three seasons, even. It's a complete revamp. A complete revamp. Why mm-hmm. would did you did you is it by design? It is by design, and if this ep- this podcast is coming out in like let's say two weeks, I can tell you about it. Ah, it is. So if it's coming, this is coming out in two weeks. Then, um, so we're cooking this season. Oh wow! Yeah, and that's I think that's that, cool. Yeah, I think that's something like nobody would imagine that I do. Um, are you nobody, are you a good cook? I am, but I just don't cook that much anymore. Okay, fair, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's because my husband kind of took over that, so he he does most of it. Is he a better cook? He's a good cook. I think he's equally good. Equally good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah I don't want to be no, like... No, he's not going to be better. Whatever. Yeah, he's yeah. not better yeah. yet. <laughs> but um, having said that, uh, so there were quite a few reasons why we did a cooking thing this time. So the first reason was last time I did a crowdfunding on Conversations with Kavil because I didn't have funds to shoot it. So one of the ladies who contributed to it, uh, she was the last person to contribute um, money to the show. And she gave me a very big amount of money, and when I got it, I was completely like shocked because I didn't know her. She was part of Soul Sisters, and she was like, "I've seen your work for the last, you know, uh, almost a decade now. So I know that you're going to talk about some very important things. Last season, I wanted to talk about sexual abuse. So mm, uh, she was like, "I really want you to record that show, and because I know nobody else will want to push something like that forward in terms of like uh, sponsorships. It's very hard, obviously, to talk about this. It's these, difficult. It's yeah. not bankable." It's Most not like, yeah. right. So um, this time, uh, she said to me that we've done, uh, we've sponsored, like I mean, we've helped you with a small amount. This time, I want to take up the whole season. And she actually uh, is um, an entrepreneur. She has her own. Um, she owns Nahid, the superstore. Oh, wow! Yeah, and beautiful. She, yeah. yeah, and she also they just made this range of frozen foods called Fresh Street and sauces and stuff. I might have, might have. Yeah, uh, it's very new. So huh. that's why I was telling, telling you, because two weeks may release or a podcast. I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> so when she said this to me, there were two things I could have done. One thing I could have done is like the most easiest alternative when you are working with a brand, which is that you put their logo on the corner. Yeah, yeah. Corner. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, you know, that's not me. That's not what I want to do. And this is someone who's come in truly with all her heart. She's come in without. Asking for anything in return ever, what I really want to do is that I want to do something with them, okay. collaboratively. In the sense that if if we're talking about Fresh Street, it sh- it has to be part of the conversation. It can't just be like a 
stupid logo on the side sure right sure 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 and then i thought about like my audience and i thought about what a difficult year it's been in yeah. terms of covid people have lost their loved ones um i think just the overall ambiance around us is very grim It's you grim. know people have lost their jobs and things have not been very mm. easy so i thought why don't we cook and talk and talk about relationships so this season is going to be um a lot of people talking about stereotypical relationships okay. but stereotypically negative relationships so saas bahu puppo puppo bhatiji nand bhabhi these are female relationships that are often portrayed negatively because of the experiences people have they're valid experiences yeah they're stereotyped yeah. for a reason yeah yeah exactly but then those st- those uh, experiences are further validated and propagated on media to pick who stereotype ban jata hai it's a cycle yeah. it's, it's a, cycle, a cycle right yeah. yeah so then i thought that why not bring people who've had um the opposite experiences and then use their experiences as an exa- as an example for us to implement in our own lives because now is the age that you know maybe like someone now is our age basically of getting into these relationships of women potentially having nuns or um a girl potentially having her brother getting married so bhabhi coming to live with them mm-hmm. right and i was like this could actually serve as an example for other people who are potentially getting into these relationships and how they can navigate their way through them absolutely yeah, yeah. That, that's so that's they go the, the thing with you always uh, that i find is it's heavy work Mm. It, it's good right it's yeah. great it's great and very virtuous and allah rahm karega bol acha hoga inshallah sab kuch um and and you know if, if, agar kisi ek ko bhi fayda pahuncha to sabko fayda pahunch gaya puri insaniyat and all those and these are all good things very good um it's heavy work you're one person and you have a team you have a great team i don't know them you have a great team right <laughs> um i don't want to invalidate anyone aaj kal log bahut sensitive hai um you have a great team you you're one person finite cognitive capital right um how how is it that you cope with this responsibility of a pehli baat soul sisters we have to get into that but uh, and then also this telling these stories doing them justice and not um not fracturing yourself all at the same time thoda sa masla hai you understand what the problem is 100%. right 100% yeah. so so first obviously telling them in good faith not um trivializing them in any ways these are people that are becoming completely vulnerable uh, mm. and sometimes they're not they're anonymous but, but it's still speaking about a wound isn't easy yeah you know so so how is it that you uh, at least so let, let me just how do you go about doing it in a way where you're like acha at least main mutmain hu ki maine I've put my best foot forward. So, I think that's a very good, you know, that's a very good question because um what you said about fracturing yourself, I feel like wo to hota hi hai. I mean, I'm sure you've experienced it too whenever someone tells you a story that um about, you know, some some form of violence or some form of, you know, disservice it's been done to them it hurts a part of you as well i mean tra- unka to trauma hai but their trauma affects you as well of course deeply mm-hmm. right it's mm-hmm. something you think about for the rest of your life and i think it sort of becomes a part of you and not just when you're hearing them in person but also when you edit that story and you have to go around it 100 times right so That's you're it. hearing it again and again and again and you know um, my project manager soror so she usually is with me on edit as well and she was saying the same that you know the first season we used to cry so much and then after that we'd need a break like a good solid 6 month break not talking about any of this stuff because it's it's very painful mm-hmm. and to know that these are actual experiences of people and they've been through this and you know i mean it's hurt them it's if if you have any even an ounce of empathy inside of you it will hurt you too yeah yeah so that um i think in these things a uh, therapy helps um taking time off helps um for me i'm very passionate about what i do so that also helps you know because all my life i've not been a very consistent person but ever since i started soul sisters i've been consistent in what i do so obviously there's something in that that really makes me want to do it mm-hmm. and um i just feel like all of these things combined and lately i've been taking a lot of time off so when i don't want to work i don't work i just don't show up like i mean not not that i cancel commitments of course i don't but i just mean like for myself if i want to take you know a week off i will do it i think again it's super 
super necessary, redundant. Uh, my writing coaches would be very upset. Um, <laughs> so, but it's super necessary to take care of yourself because you can only bring to the project what you have cultivated. Masla hmm. yeh, this is finite. And as we grow older, I was telling you that in 21 years old, I had the emotional bandwidth of a city. Like I could just, I had room in my heart for all of Karachi. All of it, right? And now, um, someone sitting across from me on a podcast, while the cameras are on, Alhamdulillah, um, uh, telling me a story about their childhood trauma just breaks me completely. So you can, again, you only have this. Yeah. Right? Akhir mein, yes, um, there's a huge community. Yes, you've just spoken about crowdfunding and those are all good things. But you still essentially only have this. Job la sakte ho. Yeah. And if you don't take care of it, and people don't, and we're, yeah. we're taught not to, Abhi, um, you know, you said that you must experience it as well. And, and my immediate knee-jerk reaction was, no, I'm fine. But the thing is, that's what you're yeah. taught, especially as a man. That's what you're taught uh, growing up, that you have to be all right. No, what will Yeah. B- because here's the thing. You're not all right. And it's okay to admit it. Admitting it won't make the world end. You know, these are realizations that you come to at, at a stage, matlab, too late, I would think. But if you don't, if you don't take care of this, then you're also not doing justice to the stories. Absolutely. Because the problem with, or not the pro, it's not a problem, but with the thing with projects like yours or even my endeavor, hmm. is it's not about me, actually. You know, your stuff is not, ab- not actually about you. It's about the stories and the suffering of people. Um, and I, I'm saying that the most important thing is that if their story has because hmm. I'm a human being nah? sometimes I get upset sometimes right. I, I might joke I, I might be inappropriate whatever um, that terrifies me hmm. you know I'd rather not do it hmm. you know than, than to do it and, and then have someone's story be mistold I've had people tell me about you know the fact that they've resorted to self-harm or, or you know worse things happening in their childhood and I'm just sitting here going I just hope, you know, first off that you're all right, obviously, but then also that I, I, I show exhibit reverence for this thing, no? It's right. It's it's just the heaviest thing in the world. Why did we start with this? We started with this because I was we were talking about stories, and you asked, "How do I manage?" No, but why, 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 why this heavy? Well, why can't I just talk about the beautiful continental tradition of cooking and how it lends itself to uh, conversations? It does. And I just felt like um, after such a heavy year that people have been through, maybe now is the t- time to talk about things that are important, which is relationships and which we often overlook. Or honestly, like these relationships form the basis of so many different, um, you know, issues within society 100%, also. 100%. So um, I just felt, why not we talk about that, but in a lighter way, mm-hmm. um, in a way that if someone is sitting after, let's say, they had a bad day at work or because yeah, okay. of COVID... Or, or if they have, God forbid, COVID, they, if they're watching it, they just feel th- there is a feel-good element in it also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not that the previous seasons didn't have that. But of course, like I said, if you have even an ounce of empathy in you, it really breaks you mm-hmm. to see someone else having gone through like a journey that was painful. Although those are very strong women and their stories are of success. But even then... Dude, look, the masla, dude. Masla yeah, masla yeah, that... Um, you find at least I find myself wishing that they hadn't. Ne- yeah. They didn't need. To, I wish they w- they didn't have to. Hmm. They didn't. Ha- they're strong. Hmm. Some of the strongest people you've seen. Right. But why did they need to be strong? Hmm. You know, uh, throughout uh, my life, that's that's repeatedly my question for a lot of people who are strong. My dad, my mom, um, my grandmothers, both of them are lahyati they unko. They're like, you know, yeh hua, yeh hua, and it's okay. I'm like, well, see, that's, so you're okay. Yeah. And thank God that you're okay. But it's not okay. But what happened wasn't it's okay. It's not okay, dude. Yeah. You know, and you need to, you need to differentiate that. You're okay. We're here, alhamdulillah. And you're surrounded by people that you love. And maybe it made you the person that you are. I- I'm not going to sit here and, and say otherwise. Having said that, language is important. And you're, you being such a key figure in my life 
cannot tell me it's okay even for a second it's not okay hmm. it's not it was not okay then it's not okay now it never will be okay it doesn't matter um if you feel the need to defend your mom from me like my grandmother needing uh, feeling the need to defend her mom from me think about that as, as, as generational trauma ki wo uh, i don't know her i'll never meet her and you know i'll only hear about her in stories and even then my grandmother feels the need ke nahi beta par unki apni majburiyan thi maine to nahi bola na ki nahi thi lekin main to sirf aapke liye feel kar raha hu think about what trauma does to you where even when you're telling a story from the past you forego your agency as a woman as a powerful woman by the way like mai jo nanu hai na and phir uske upar mai mummy jo hai allah hayati de unko bata raha hu aapko mai to but as a powerful woman you need to forego your agency to what to defend your mom from your grandson right you know as a i don't know as a, as a society i feel like there's just there's just some things that are broken and and and, Absolutely. and and fixing them will take how long but uske dauran we must not forsake ourselves ha bilkul you know aise hi hai i uh, something comes to mind aapne machine gun preacher dekhi hai nahi jared butler no matlab waise na dekho to better lekin pehle it's it's really it's it's about um child uh, slave labor slave soldiers child soldiers in africa and the yeah, true story ek banda tha he was a soldier he went there he's like i'm going to fix them right and he does a lot of work he builds the community with these with these african kids and and you know they're finally trying to open up um and ek bachcha hota hai he never talks he's seen some things and he never speaks and uh, finally wo jo jo bhi wahan pe warring factions hoti hai usme se ek faction aake the little village that he's built they just gun them down kids oh. right and he's just completely broken and he's like what none of this counts for anything um and he's just sitting there and jo baby hota hai na who's never said anything he goes and he go he says ke you know we can't let them take our hearts you just can't and um and that's it man that's it i i, I just that's the punch line that's right that's it that's yeah. the, that's the story um of this masha because there's such horrendous stuff going on all around hmm. you know abhi bhi what happened in uh, with the sri lankan person yeah man you know um it hurts you every time but phir phir ji chale jate hain lekin agar nahi ja rahe hain to phir you know Uh, let's let's make an effort because yeah वैसे भी I wasn't planning on living for 200 years were you yeah you no तो फिर अल्लाह क्या करे why why did I make this why did I do this I think it's because I'm not sleeping पता है it, it's that's <laughs> what it is uh, no I think it's just that one conversation leads to the other yeah I guess um anyways back to the back to the cooking and the tradition uh, traditions of cooking how how was that in terms of your guests and engage were they like were they for it yeah absolutely so uh, the show is unscripted right yeah or usually jab cooking commercials hoti hai to usme ye hota hai ki jo actress hoti hai wo khana to fake paka rahi hoti hai wo sirf tel uchhalti hai ya yeah yeah sure package piche actual kitchen mein cooking ho rahi hoti hai but here we're actually cooking yeah. there's no side kitchen so if something burns it burns yeah if the Did something burn no it didn't burn but i think in one of the episodes when a bahut poor tarike se soup pour out kit was like all over the place yeah, fair enough we'll cut it out it's fine oh you cut yeah, it okay i'm joking no you <laughs> joking. obviously not i'm saying in the episode we might cut it out huh? but huh? i remember like everybody on my team was just like looking at me up and down ke ye to kya hi thi inko bahut acha khana pakane aata hai inse to soup bhi nahi nikala ja raha tha sahi hai yaar but um, yeah what's it called uh, acha nahi so so these guests obviously at this point mm. knew who you were knew what the deal was all right were yeah, they, yeah. were they was it refreshing for them ke yaar ye ये क्या सीन है अचानक से या वी टोल देम इन प्री प्रोडक्शन ओनली के व्हेन यू गाइस कम इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी लाइक द यूजुअल सीजंस ऑफ कन्वर्सेशन विद कवल यू गोइंग टू बी कुकिंग प्लस वो जो खाना पका रहे थे उनसे रेसिपीज भी ली थी बिकॉज़ वी हैड टू ऑर्डर द इंग्रेडिएंट्स एंड हैव दोस रेडी फॉर एवरी एपिसोड सो सो दे डिसाइड दे डिसाइड ओह व्हाट दे डिसाइड व्हाट दे गोइंग टू कुक या सो लाइक इफ दैट वन ऑफ द गर्ल्स इज फ्रॉम हुंजा सो शी इज मेकिंग अ ट्रेडिशनल डिश फ्रॉम देयर एंड सो ऑब्वियसली वी हैव टू ऑर्डर द इंग्रेडिएंट्स इन एडवांस एंड हैव एवरीथिंग लेड आउट सो um both or as a complicated part I think that's a beautiful them. idea. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's it's quite nice. Um and it's not like the story or the or the things they're talking about are any less important. They're still talking. 
we're cooking and we're overall having a very nice time and then in the end we eat the food also yeah. so um d- 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 okay wait i'm going to ask you an extremely clickbaity it just comes to me yeah um how many episodes eight how many different cuisines eight different cuisines eight, eight different dishes eight but different they're dishes. all they're all like not cuisines i think huh. sub local type yeah adaptations agar jaise club sandwich hai to i mean i think club sandwich is the desi dish ha uh-huh. you think it's a desi dish club sandwich no it's not it's like a foreign dish but we've made it so desi it's available everywhere it like kb's has it tuso yeah. has it yeah. squires has like, it like like you, you know we uh, appropriated zingers no yeah exactly so Humara now <laughs> yeah so is tarah ki cheeze but there things people make in their houses every day yeah so there's there's some of the stuff is so basic but it still tastes so good because it's something that you would make in 20 minutes if yeah. you want to go and cook yourself like yeah. a meal yeah. um none of the things are something jo bahut aapko jo bhunne ki zarurat hai ya masale peesne ki zarurat hai it's all like very quick and fun and nice and and, and you insisted that it be something that you no. do all the time yeah i, I huh. said this because wohi baat na ki if they're coming on camera and if they're making an on an unscripted show i don't want them to make try something new no just ka unko koi andaaza hi nahi hai ki kis tarah se pakna hai sahi 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 so and, and they're all that, very good ha, with it ha, that's not what it was hmm. about see theek hai um because i was recently having a conversation with someone and hmm. we were talking about how taken we are with food how taken we are by food aap ye socho ke you know karachi versus lahore mein bhi pehli cheez kya hoti hai hamare paas khana behtar hai you know it's stuff like, which is generally and also um uh, our general um what's the word proclivity hmm. proclivity to um you know consume food and we always consume food we talk about food all the time i I, I don't i mean you know i could i guess we could venture a guess about where it comes from but i think food and cooking especially it's it's very fundamental to who we are as a people absolutely absolutely you know? and i feel like when you're watching someone cook or when you're cooking with them you also see like a, a little part of their lives sure right so for example one of the girls she makes pizza on toast and it's i haven't ever made that mm-hmm. and when i was reading the recipe i was like oh this is going to be pretty like yeah normal like you know so but when i tried it it was so good yeah like it was really nice yeah right and i was she was like this is something i make all the time for my kids and i was like okay yeah. and this is something the kids would eat happily because i can just imagine like you know even my daughter eating something like yeah. that so it, you just learn that i just learned that little thing about her and i and i learned what her kids eat and what the kind of culture in her house is yeah just from learning about what she cooks so i i like that aspect about the season when you when you when you're being taught how to tell stories now how to mm. write stories um i know it's a cliche uh the dev, the devil is in the details but you are forced repeatedly to forego all explanation sari jo aapki explanation hai wo aap hata do right and tell me something that is so unique to you dal chawal ke sath red bull peena yeah येलो प्लेट येलो चाइना की प्लेट में दाल चावल के साथ रेड बुल पीना रेड बुल ग्लास में निकाल के पीना रेड बुल ग्लास में निकाल के पीना लेकिन बर्फ जो है वो ग्लास में पहले डालना और फिर निकाल देना द डिटेल्स जस्ट दे डू मैटर एंड दे ऑफर यू सो मच मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन देन एनी थिंग आई कुड एक्सप्लेन एनी थिंग आई कुड बाबा की डाइट strawberry ice cream nikal ke raat ko khana because i'm not allowed to eat it hmm. so eat it at 1 am not 2 am because that's when he comes back and 12 uh, midnight is when mom goes to sleep you know it's just uh, details are everything and and i think again one of the other reasons why i would applaud a method of this sort is there's no antagonism hmm. it, it's very natural no? yeah. uh, you're not you're not asking them scripted to khair waise bhi nahi hai lekin you're not asking them to do anything uncomfortable absolutely you know? yeah you wouldn't that's not and you know isme what you said about the details um you know ek aur bhi cheez aisi hoti hai ki kiske ghar mein kaun kitna masala dal raha hai mm-hmm. right namak kitni dal rahi hai even when these women are cooking they're not chefs or they're not trained uh, you know recipe enthusiasts or something so when they're putting stuff it's all andaza yeah yeah this is something they make every day yeah. so when she's putting salt she's like aap apne andaze se dal dijiyega aapke ghar mein jitni bhi dalti hain you know i know it sounds like a very minor detail but it's refreshing uske ghar mein zyada chili flakes dalti hain mere ghar mein kam dalti hain she likes to put cheese and everything maybe that other guest who came doesn't so i don't know it, it just tells so much about like the culture of a house Absolutely. or how they eat or how they sit yes so I, it's i also think if i were to take a little more liberty with that um 
آج کل دا کنٹیمپرری تھیوریز اور دا کنٹیمپرری اپروچز ایوری تھنگ نیڈس ٹو بی میجربل بیکاز اٹ نیڈس ٹو بی بیکاز آئی نیڈ ٹو بی ایبل ٹو ریپلیکیٹ اٹ ایف آئی کین ریپلیکیٹ اٹ دین اٹس نو گڈ ٹو می ورسز ارسٹ وائل جو ہماری خیالات ہوتے تھے وہ یہی ہوتے تھے کہ بھائی جسٹ میک شیور یو ڈو دا بیسٹ فار رائٹ ناؤ جو بعد میں ہوگا وہ دیکھا جائے گا جو پہلے ہوا بھول جاؤ یو نو اینڈ اے لاٹ آف سائیکو تھیراپی ایکچولی ریوالوز اراؤنڈ برنگنگ ہو ایور ہیز اے پرابلم ان ٹو دا پریزنٹ ان ٹو دا ہیئر اینڈ ناؤ باڈی مائنڈ بہت سارے الگ الگ بز ورڈز ہیں بٹ جسٹ ان ٹو دا پریزنٹ بیکاز آئی تھنک اے لاٹ آف سفرنگ ہیپنس آئی دا ان دا پاسٹ اور ان دا فیوچر اینڈ اینڈ مطلب آپ دونوں جگہوں پہ کیا کر رہے ہو آپ کو یہاں پہ ہونا ہے نا فیل کہ you know uh, them saying that is a, is a beautiful detail i think uh, irfan bhai ki koi video thi usme bhi aisa tha ki he was so he was a burger wali video so he was comparing um, jo hamare bilkul wo wale burgers hote hain where uh, if it's a 12 pound uh, 12 ounces uh, beef patty then it's 12 ounces and not yeah. 13 and it can't be 11 and the sauces need aise and uh, he juxtaposes that that and then the very next clip is uh, some ban kebab wala person and he's just like yaar yahan pe to hath ka hisab hota hai jitna dala dal diya jitna nahi dala nahi dala that's so cool it's so cool and that's our culture right yeah. even like that's that's what i said ki sabne apne andaaze se ghar ke hisab se ke bachon ko nahi lagti zyada namak chahiye hoti kam nam whatever yeah yeah it's all by andaaza and yeah. i think that's how our moms also sometimes when we ask them the recipe they're like andaaze se ye ye dal dena and then it's done ha. Ha. and yeah so that's it okay switching gears just a little bit because i i do know you have to have to have to get out of here i can't take as much liberty as i usually do yeah. with the time Um so you started Soul Sisters right uh, and I do want to get into why and you know it's not been easy uh we've only spoken briefly about why it's not been easy but it's not been easy um uh, but before that now you are a prominent uh, voice alhamdulillah right um in the whole discourse in the at least the local discourse and even the discourse in diaspora around women empowerment around mm. abuse around conversations right you think i've noticed this one thing hamare jo chote hain kyunki main bhi umar mein itna chota nahi hu to hamare jo chote hain jo 18 saal ke 16 saal ke 20 saal ke even ya 22 saal ke jo bacche hain aapke case mein bachiyan zyada honge zahir hai um they are taken by celebrity yeah right do you find it difficult sometimes to get them to listen to you because they're taken by you the idea of you ke aapne ye kaam kiya which is cool right but but then to have them kind of push back pull back ke theek hai i am kavil that's fine but also still listen to what i'm saying because mm. that's what's actually important right the celebrity make me i don't know if you want to be a celebrity but you know fine make me a celebrity make me someone who's prominent cool but pay attention to what i'm saying do you get me yeah i think ابھی تک مجھے اتنا مسئلہ اس لیے نہیں ہوا بیکاز آئی تھنک نان آف دا اسٹاف دیٹ آئی ڈن ہیز بین فن 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 سو لائک آئی تھنک ہو ایور ہیز فالوڈ می اور ہیز بین پارٹ آف مائی کمیونٹیز ہیز سین دا کائنڈ آف ڈسکورس اٹس دیئر سو دیو آل سائنڈ اپ فار دس ان دا سینس دے آل نیو دس از آل ور گن ڈو سو آئی تھنک کہ اسینشلی ایون وین یو گو آن مائی انسٹاگرام مائی انسٹاگرام از سو بورنگ even the pictures are like half the time pixelated oh, um, it's not boring it's nice yeah but it's, wholesome. It's, it, it's it's not like a very instagrammy instagram right so i just feel like um th- so they do listen so they know that um i'm more about what i want to say as opposed to what i want to show mm. like or what i, mean, I, I am yeah, yeah yeah so not that i mind if there are people doing that but i just mean ke meri jo ek persona build ho gayi online it's been built around these terms and conditions that this is the stuff i i talk about mm. and um so whoever follows me does it for the conversations that i'm going to be putting out there fair okay so ye wala scene follow up question and you said this abhi aapne thodi der pehle ye mention kiya ki you do take breaks and you take you recently been taking more breaks which is absolutely Haan, i think bilkul. you should right um is there No, I wouldn't say pressure, but is there at least expectations from the people who follow you that, yaar, aap wo serious wali baatein kare na? Because sometimes you just want to post a photo with your oh, family. Right. Yeah. You know? Is there that? No. So what happens is that um, I think I'm lucky in that way as well. So um, 
like six weeks ago i was kind of like you know doing up my house because i just moved and stuff and i started posting random pictures of like the carpet i bought and like the curtains i put up and stuff and people were so happy mm-hmm. they were like oh my god like it's been years because a while back i did used to post a lot of stuff personal stuff but now i'd stopped so everybody what? was like because i got so busy with cwk and my work and i just, and like you know when, when you're editing this kind of content you're just like completely thrown off and you yeah then you don't think about anything else. So when I was doing this, everybody was like, oh, you know, it's so nice to see what your house looks like. Can you give us a tour? And mm. oh my God, you're like, your, your jumpsuit is so nice. Where did you get it from? So I was enjoying that also. Mujhe maza aa tha. Like, mm. you know, okay, okay, so these are also fun conversations and I want to have that kind of break sometimes where I'm thinking about, you know, the shoes I have to wear or like the lipstick I should get. You need that kind of refreshing break because that's fun too, especially when you're constantly doing very hardcore work. Yeah, too. Look, I I think वही वाली बात है ना. I think it's paramount that we understand कि हर चीज़ के लिए एक space होना लाज़मी है. Right. You know, and, yeah. And वही वाली बात है कि if this person is trying to interact with very very difficult subject matter, very very difficult stories, does not mean that. Uh, उनकी कोई life ही नहीं है इसके अलावा. Exactly, कोई life नहीं है. Yeah, that they will not. uh do anything you know like that they, they will not do anything for leisure you know it just, right that 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 whole uh, when i was in a levels to ye argument diya jata tha ki bhai africa mein bacche mar rahe hain jo ki sach baat hai yeah aur aap yahan party kar rahe hain wo yeah. bhi sach baat hai but you see that's what the world is the mm. world isn't there is no polarity here that exists mm. there is all these things and you just have to try and be as decent a person as you can given whatever your circumstances are um but but that's that i think is great then okay then then what is your concept of a super fan they're just happy for you right yeah, so that's, uh, that's what i feel like um i have i feel like most of my community is very tight knit and very like they're engaged for the reason of the things that we're all meant to kind of do together yeah alhamdulillah um soul sisters hmm full you know talk show host soul sisters why did you start it <laughs> Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh. I I've obviously answered this question in every interview I've yeah. given, but solely for the reason because मुझे लग रहा था कि ऐसी कोई जगह नहीं है जहाँ मैं या other women around me had a space to go to. What? I was a makeup artist at the time, okay. so I was running a Facebook makeup group. Was the money my Facebook groups were the big thing? You were based here? No, I was based in Saudi. Okay. I used to come here do like for a week every month. Okay. Bridal or get a makeup skirti thi classes rakti thi na and go back go oh. back. and um i mean at the time like kabhi baat me bright se chhir jati thi ke wo pata hai unhone mila jahez wapas bhejwa di and i'm serving like a um upper middle class uh, elite sort people of people who can afford it yeah, yeah yeah right to wo nahi hai ke like people say na ha defense mein aise issues kahan hote honge nahi they happen more than ever behind these big walls and they even more hushed up here because you know nobody wants the word to get out about things that happen behind these walls so um you know so often like kyun ki because if you think about it the makeup artist is the last person one of the last people a woman meets before she heads off to her rukhsati yep. so that's a very vulnerable time in your life yes ki aap wo 4 ghante just before you're about to leave your mom's house with a brand new guy is you're spending it with your makeup artist so wo wala bahut vulnerable time hota hai bahut stress hota hai bahut anxiety ho rahi hoti hai so obviously while you're doing their makeup or when you're like helping them with their dress and stuff there's so much conversation and i started feeling like oh my god like why don't these girls have a place to go and mm. then i thought about my own friends and myself and like where where would i go if i had issues and who do we talk to we don't mm. right you know, and yeah. even if you talk to a friend about it 95% of the time your friend will look at it with a slight bias because he at least knows you he know or and he knows you know the people around you so uski kahin na kahin biases will lie but when you speak to a third person who has absolutely no um background of everything or, sure. or or has a bias for you or the other people to wo aapko ek bilkul different advice dega aur bilkul ek different lens se dekhega and then i thought that why don't we have any support systems here where girls can just talk to each other because and they're so, not meant to talk na kamal aap samajh liye they're not they're right. not meant to talk so that that's how i literally just within like minutes i just made soul sisters box and kyun us zamane mein groups were like how instagram how, accounts how are these days how, how far back? it's going to be 9 years in 2022 wow. Mashallah. Yeah, so it started in 2013, mm-hmm. and uh, like I said, that us work groups were really like the big. Uh, they were kind of like 
starting off actually okay. they weren't the big thing yet but there were a couple of groups that were like you know people that's all people used to do talk on groups so um yeah so maine aise baithe baithe maine kaha ki yaar ye group hai aur mera makeup group to chal hi raha tha maine makeup group pe kaha ke whoever wants to talk about things other than bridal makeup and makeup go on this group and mm. we'll talk about life issues and blah 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 yeah and within minutes that group was like populated people were already talking discussing and mujhe tha ki yaar main zyada logo ko add nahi karu ek saath bahut saare logo ko add karungi to it's going to be like a bahut hi crazy scene ho jayega because sure. okay. we want to talk about private stuff right now right us waqt to bahut hi private lagta tha ki oh people are going to talk about like intimacy and this and that to khair um i i didn't add too many people but of course jab us group pe log aisi baatein kar rahe the and like you said ki aurton ko to allowed nahi hai baat karna to Nein. outside the group people were talking as well ki oh my god there is this group uh, soul sisters jahan ladkiyan gandi gandi baatein karti hain baith ke and then a very um as as a couple of years passed we would only admit like 50 to 100 people a month at max okay bahut strict admission hoti thi and you had to be referred by a friend okay to get added we just wanted to make sure ki nobody got trolled nobody got um you know agar kisi ne kuch likha hai to unke ghar walon tak wo baat na pahunche we wanted to keep it tight lekin tab bhi hota tha drama bahut the well, let's, let's be honest now it's on the internet so it's it, out there right it's it's that and also every woman isn't every other woman's friend matlab yeah just because you're a woman does not mean that you want what's best for every other woman right. and and or that you will be mindful of their experience or 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 their situation nahi aisa nahi hota yeah and sometimes like the people um who you think are the most woke are the ones who do the most destruction yeah, wo full performative hote hain na bahut bahut so i the, in my early years i this was something that had never been done before so i didn't even have a blueprint to follow ke mujhe pata ho ke kaval as an admin these are the expectations from you this is what you need to do mm. and uh, blah 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 like mere paas to blueprint bhi nahi tha or there were like literally i was bombarded from all ends with all kinds of experiences mm. uh, uske beech mein i also got pregnant and then i had a baby and while i was having my baby like some of the worst shit went down on the group not that i want to talk about it but mm. i just mean ke um you know you're expecting ke jin log jo log itni badi badi baatein likhte hain group pe about um you know uh, being so like taking care of other women and this and that wo log phir itna zyada khayal leke nahi rakhte mm-hmm. so um but then i think through this process i really learned how to lead a community how to talk to to women how to really help them and how to cl- keep the group completely clear of mindless politics kyunki um i think soul sisters is probably one of the few groups that is now really big in size but because we've been so strict now with the rules and the gu- community guidelines that people don't इधर से उधर कोई नहीं होता अलहमदिल्ला yeah. um, so I, I think वो जो आपने बात की ना माशा से यू ग्रेट बट ऑल्सो ये जो आपने बात की कुछ खातन हु आर नॉट एक्टिंग नेसरली इन 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 गुड फेथ इसमें एक मसला जो मुझे समझ आता है वो ये भी होता है कि यार देखो द ट्रिकी पार्ट विद आइडेंटिटी पॉलिटिक्स इज कि देन यू इट इट डजेंट मैटर वट द कॉज इज वट मैटर्स इज द वेट दैट योर नेरेटिव कैरीज and that is inherently narcissistic and and self serving hmm. and so the minute it doesn't serve you guess what you're going to jump ship yeah. you know and, and that's what happens more often than not and i don't know it really does deplete your faith in humanity bilkul bilkul stuff like this happens na yeah and uh, and and so like i think uh, beyond a point um i just became very committed to running the group on my terms and my terms were just terms that i had seen over time that cultivated a very good response from the community mm. i had to make sure that nobody thought including myself that this was going to happen because it served my interests best so things like not talking about religion or politics it helps even oh, so if you, it's no no politics no religion no politics no religion okay absolutely not unless of course um there's let's say um uh, some sort of calamity or some uh, or a bomb blast or so or, you know like you said very rightly ke uh, the sri lankan uh, uh-huh. man who was killed recently um these are of course things that we do uh, share as a news on the group and then let people sort of express their um, you know grief and just just vent just vent but usme us may be were very careful mm. all comments are moderated people are trained on the group to report comments that are harmful or that will 
hurt someone's you know uh, feelings give me an example um no like even if someone <laughs> so this one time i was sitting with my facebook uh, mentors and they were going through the back end of my group and they were like <laughs> Uh, have you set up keyword alert and keyword alert ye hota hai ki agar certain words get uh, you know used on the flag, group to yeah. wo aapko uh, admin ke paas aa jate flag okay so they started laughing they were like you've put stupid and bitch as a keyword <laughs> alert <laughs> and i was like yeah because if someone's calling someone else a bitch yeah. i need to be flagged i need yeah. to be told that yeah. that comment needs to go down yeah uh, so i'm just saying so like stuff like that very random stuff but like yeah, but i dekho i think i have appreciation for that because far too often when we don't when our ability to express ourselves or our ability to develop cogent arguments fails us which is often we yeah. we resort to name calling absolutely and and name calling is by the way in terms of philosophy the number one cardinal uh, cardinal sin you 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 can't attack the person you have to attack the argument absolutely so agar uh, aap mere se bahas nahi kar sakte ho aap bol rahe ho tumne apni anak dekhi hai and and then everything else that follows uh, that is beyond meri anak to i i think i think that's beautiful but but i also think that that's why uh, i suppose the sanct mai to nahi hu na so i suppose that's why the sanctity of uh, the group is maintained the mm. way it is alhamdulillah na because yeah. because they know yeah dekho i think one of the worst words one of the worst phrases uh, that's been used to death and and bastardized is uh, safe space yeah you know And, and and the people's want want on entitlement to safe spaces you know some spaces are not supposed to be safe um, um met, like academically speaking like people students will come in and be like we need a safe space safe space on campus no actually on campus all your ideas are supposed to be scrutinized it's mm-hmm. not supposed to be safe right right but then um soul sisters is an excellent example of an actual safe space where not only will you be safe from people but you must understand that people will be saved from you right you know yeah. because and i understand man there's chaos in your belly and you need to let it out but not at the cost yeah, of other people yeah and you know this this other people have to be like you have to be safe for other people too um sometimes myself or my moderators feel like you know um we get unnecessarily attacked or hated on within the community and outside of it also and then we also have to remind the members that this is a safe space for us also yeah, like yeah. I cannot lead a community, or I cannot moderate it if it's if it becomes unsafe for me or my um, mental yeah, health. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, वो थोड़ा सा एक है. Um, I think that's a work in progress always because I think it's the easiest, especially when you are putting yourself on online as a public figure. वो तो हमें वैसे ही हर जगह से मिलता है Twitter से Instagram से. Yeah, but but यार ये हमारा जो मार्श है ना वैसे भी आप देखो ना what's our what's our number one idea of a good time? किसी की बजाते हैं. Yeah. First off, let's talk about that beautiful use of. colloquialisms kisi ki bajate hain meaning what yeah what what is that metaphor for ye yeah. mai jo hai na philosophy padh ke galti karti hai ab koi kuch bhi bolta hai na kisi ki lete hain kisi ki bajate hain i'm like do you understand what you're saying you don't let me explain it and then they're like yaar ab sara maza chala gaya ek taraf but um you know as as a society we're just taken by taking lig- liberty with other people's agency um and it's not all right right yeah you know? like we, we're going to be five friends get together and shit on one of us why is he in your group then no oh. just just don't have him there or her there instead of completely deteriorating their mental health mm. for what reason you know yeah and then there's this nonsensical code where ha lekin phir bhi he didn't snitch or she didn't snitch on us she should have mm. you know she should have like gotten rid of you people you are horrible people she right. should have gotten rid of you a long exactly. time ago exactly you know um beral ye mai thoda person ho gaya kham khai um but what what was i saying um right it's a work in progress by the same time uh you've been successful i think i will it's safe to say alhamdulillah yeah alhamdulillah uh, to 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 create that safe space we didn't want to speak about that fork that happened when and we won't fork that that fork that happened with the, with the people when you were pregnant no no i can huh. talk about that uh, then then do it please. was just yeah. that um मैं उस जमाने में इट वॉज टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन दो साल हो गए थे ग्रुप को एंड फॉर टू ईयर्स आई बिन टेलिंग पीपल दैट द स्टोरीज वी टॉक अबाउट इन साइड द ग्रुप डोंट पुट दैम आउट साइड लाइक डोंट टेल समन दैट योर फ्रेंड राबिया वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ऑन द ग्रुप बिकॉज यस डोंट डू दैट राइट डोंट डू दैट हुआ ये कि आई वेंट इन टू द हॉस्पिटल फॉर माई डिलीवरी 
एंड पीछे ना शोर मचा हुआ है ग्रुप पे और मैं ऑब्वियसली आई कुड नॉट चेक माई फोन बट देन यू नो लाइक अ डे आफ्टर डिलीवरिंग वन आई चेक दैट वॉज कम्प्लीट के ऑस थ्री ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स वो मैनेजिंग द कम्यूनिटी एट द टाइम और उन बेचारों ने कॉमेंट्स में लिखा हुआ था कवल इज इन द हॉस्पिटल डिलीवरिंग अ बेबी जस्ट स्टॉप लाइक टैगिंग हर एनी वे वट इट हैपन वॉज एट वन ऑफ द गर्ल्स ऑन द कम्यूनिटी she was working for a very renowned newspaper at the time nice. she picked up the story from a from the group about a woman being abused by her in-laws and she uh, like written it for the magazine with the girl's name aur uska title tha a girl on soul sisters pakistan was talking about being abused by her in-laws um and other girls told her to uh bardasht karo ke bardasht karo sabar karo which was not entirely true either because jab ek comment thread hota hai usme 100 comments honge yeah. and 50 log keh rahe hain ki bardasht karo lekin usme se 50 wo bhi keh rahe hain ki are you crazy like go tell somebody even, get help uh, even the people who are saying ki bardasht karo matlab wo, wo ek pura paragraph likha hua hoga unne usme aapne aur usme aur usme ye bhi likha hua usme ye bhi aapko samajhna hai ki har aurat is society mein jab raise hoti hai she is conditioned to think like this yeah yeah and in 2 years i cannot change their conditioning and also they're all part of a community so if they're saying something challenge their opinions yeah but don't teach them publish other, them teach them otherwise no and don't publish them no. on a uh, like a national newspaper she'd written that and then the girls had posted that newspaper clipping on the group and they just been like who is this girl who is the author come yeah. come talk to us right now yeah. like how dare you do this but ye bhi nahi ho sakta ye bhi and um, yeah. yeah so 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 um, the author had left the group and the girls were like can you please like remove the girl's name from the article uska apne full naam chhapa hua hai aur wo uske in-laws ne padh liya wo to abhi abuse kar rahe hain usko maar dalenge yeah. like what have you done yeah. you've actually endangered her life yeah um and obviously considering ke wo khud journalist thi and all of that so you should think she yeah. should have been she should have known yeah right better than this ke ethics hone chahiye mujhe to wohi kandil baloch wale scene hi aata hai dimag mein ke uske bhi to journalist nahi uske sath ye kya tha ke they published her cnic and her details right so um khair you wapir uska naam jo bhi newspaper tha usne hata diya us ladki ka and this and that but then it really it that incident really shook me because then you know the same people who done this were then saying ke oh you know kavals community is so terrible and you know um she doesn't allow people to express themselves and also she her the girls in her community teach very backward things right by this community was not created to teach people anything it sure. was created to engage people in talks with each other so yeah. that if i know something good i uh, you can learn from me and if you know something good i can learn from you yeah. nobody can be so woke and so educated that they have nothing left to learn with that and also essentially what are you asking for an echo chamber yeah do you want the group to be an echo chamber right exactly you know ki har koi itna itna liberal hoga kaval ki matlab itna liberal hoga ha some things liberal or otherwise are objectively wrong yeah is that such a foreign concept some right. things are wrong and especially jo ye itne intricate mamle hote hain na jo aur phir nahi ye log sirf gharelu baatein karti hain to bhai jab aapne mostly most gharon mein ye hota hai ki aap aurat ko ghar mein hi confine karke rakhte hain to uske masle bhi to ghar mein hi honge na nahi to aap na kare na gharelu baatein aap dusri baatein kar lena yeah and like you know, have another conversation right to walk the walk dude come on now yeah i remember around that same, i had just had a baby having a baby is very difficult so i was already going through that and Gee. then ssp was like skyrocketing in terms of fame okay alhamdulillah humne itne koi members the nahi 30000 ya 25000 honge lekin sab uske bare mein baat kar rahe the kyunki sabko ghusna tha hmm. including the men hmm. so definitely I the men remember. especially the men <laughs> still by the way yeah. still like you are pata to kare hota kya hai wo nahi pata karo apna <laughs> kaam kar lo i mean is aren't there enough spaces for men out there bro it does whether there are or there aren't why 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 care ab like आर दे हार्मिंग यू नो उसके अंदर जो भी हो रहा है वो जो दूसरा वाला है उसके बारे में तो मैंने हॉर स्टोरी सुनी है एंड इवन देर आम लाइक यार देखो गुड सेंस विल प्रिवेल डू योर थिंग कीप डूइंग योर थिंग इट विल बी फाइन इन शाह और इट वोट बी ईदक वे मतलब देर इज नथिंग यू कैन खैर हाँ तो आप बोल रही थी हाँ तो बस ये लाइक सो देन यू नो फॉर मी it was very hard to deal with that kind of uh, those kind of conversations being happening about me uh, people acha facebook like i said was a big thing at the time so if people made a f- facebook post on their wall it would get very viral yes jisse se ab instagram pe hota hai abhi mm-hmm. bhi I, i guess facebook pe kafi cheeze viral ho hi rahi hoti hain but few people were writing viral posts about me and 
I was not even directly involved in all of this. I was, I had just made a comment that these people will be removed from the group. Mm-hmm. Those who had written the article. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it's not like it was a big deal. I just tried to keep the community safe. But I think, you know, with this kind of work where sentiments of so many people are involved, you're bound to end up in some way. This kind of work where sentiments of so many people are involved, you're bound to, you know, just kind of like ruffle, bump, yeah. pe- ruffle a few feathers and like, um, so that's the اس طرح کی چیز چلتی رہتی ہے بٹ آئی لرن ٹو کائنڈ آف شارٹ آؤٹ ایوری تھنگ مجھے کچھ فرق اب نہیں پڑتا اینڈ آئی سی دس فار دا لاڈ آف لائک ہیپینس الحمد للہ کہ اب جب لوگ لکھ بھی رہے ہوتے ہیں تو آئی ایم ریڈنگ اینڈ لائک سم ٹائمس موسٹلی آئی ڈونٹ ریڈ بٹ سم ٹائمس آئی ریڈ اینڈ آئی ایم جسٹ لافنگ دیٹ او دس از بن سیٹ بفور لائک آئی آئی ہرڈ دس بفور لائک اٹس اٹس نو لانگ ویئر لائک او مائی گاڈ لائک دی تھنک دیٹ اباؤٹ می بیکاز ٹو تھاؤزنڈ اینڈ سکسٹین کاول ووڈ جسٹ بی لائک Oh my god that's what they think yeah. I'm shattered like yeah. I'm broken but now it's just like ha yeah. I'm, I'm sorry that cover was great but th- there's no room for that I'm sorry you there's no room for that um so I recently had a conversation with uh, Ramesh Ramesh Safa yeah. right yeah Ramesh uh, and I was asking him I was like dude you dig into your haters like this guy you know yeah. will go on his instagram and be like ki main aapko aapki auqat asal mein dikhata hu oh really right yeah no, not oh, he didn't say auqat oh, he didn't yeah, use those words yeah but he like uh, yeah. responds to them he responds to them proper and and i asked him i was like he's like yeah dekho i try ki na ho right but jab ek had se zyada ho jate hain na to phir i also think it's not on me to take it like why should i take it hmm. because i'm woh wali baat hai because i'm a public figure so i should take it That's not how this stuff works. Man. It doesn't, you know? right? Like, well, why? Why would you ha- be horrible? So, a few people that I am an absolute fan of, and I'm glad that uh, you are also, you know, doing it the way they do it. Ramesh, uh, Hamza, uh, Murubai, you know, but, but they'll be like, "No, you will not affect my cognitive capital." And you know, it needs to be said. This comes from that wanton entitlement that I mentioned, which is a societal thing where, because I have an opinion and an internet connection. like some indian comedian said uh which is yeah. beautiful <laughs> i will i will literally deplete your cognitive capital and i was recently ha- recently having this conversation with uh, with another guest umar noman ab uh, ha ye podcast baad mein umar noman i was having this conversation with where they will literally someone who has suicidal ideations allah maaf kare they will literally be like ki is bande ne abhi tak kiya kyun nahi hai kar de stuff like this stuff like this online to your absolute scum if you say that to someone who has yeah. to anyone really but especially to someone who's going through depression what are you doing yeah, yeah. just because what there's no consequence and so the crazy part about omar's story is one of the people who was doing it was this woman that he actually met at a concert he met her and he was like listen you know i'm sorry for my part in anything you know full seriously and she's like are chill karo bro sab kuch theek hai apni zindagi jiyo listen man you need to be locked up or something yeah it's something needs to be some consequence needs to be visited upon you that's ridiculous like at least your phone needs to be taken away or something like yeah. what are you doing yeah you no know? that's not right and 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 um, so to that end i think it's great ki aap bhi yahi karti hain yeah but i don't respond ah, okay i yeah. my my response usually is silence yeah that's fine mai i remember uh, there were times where the same um you know people who wanted to hire me for work because i do um a lot of like uh, collaborations with brands okay yeah yeah um but the same people who would hire me for work would also be writing public posts about me and just talking crap about me and us waqt na itne zyada influencers nahi the ab 2015 16 mein jayenge to aap ko yaad nahi hoga ki kaun tha i think there was just i think irfan had just started off yeah and um Muru bhai was Muru there. Muru was there. Yeah. Um and there were a couple of more people who I knew of, right? So um so I was uh, when I would do these collaborations so pehle to log samajh nahi aata tha ki hum in in uh, digital influencers ko paise kyun de. Sahi okay. Right? Ek to ye tha abhi bhi wo to masla chalta hi aa raha hai. Abhi lekin ab digital budgets jo hote hain brands ke they are massive yeah. as compared to 2016. Sure. Sure. When I'd ask for money in 2016 they'd be like aap kaun? TV uh-huh. आप चैनल है नहीं है ना दफा है uh-huh. अब ऐसा नहीं होता अब इट्स एवरीबडी नो अस अब तो वो बोल आते ही इससे हैं कि पी आर बजट ये है और आप कर सकते हैं आपका क्या बजट है जो भी खैर एनी वे सो दे वुड बी टॉकिंग क्राफ बार में वो भी मुझे बहुत हर्ट करता था कि अरे मैंने इसके लिए कितना अच्छा वो किया था और अब ये देखो मुझे किस मेरे बारे में कैसी बातें कर रहा है एंड आई थॉट आई हैड ए गुड कनेक्शन विद दिस पर्सन लाइक आई बी टेकिंग एवरी थिंग पर्सनली बिकॉज आई वॉज यंग 
I was new and I think I wasn't prepared for all, you know, the the things that would follow. But then I had a good, fr- I had a few good friends. I had um, my husband, Anas, and they would kind of help me through this and just be like, you know, you need to shut all these voices out. It doesn't matter. I remember this one time I'd done something really good. <laughs> remember what I'd done? <laughs> I'd done something really good. <laughs> Some, I'd done something good. really good. Yeah. Um, and, uh, huh. So I had uh, come in AFP um, and, you know, France 24, Khalid Times, all of these, uh, all of the major newspapers across the world had Iksat published an article about me. Alhamdulillah. And they had called me um, something good. Okay. <laughs> like I said, something it good. It was something good. <laughs> I just don't remember right yeah. now. And it was, it happened like a surprise. It, I didn't know it was going to happen. The journalist just contacted me and I, I was like, who me? Like, okay, khair, wo ho gaya. it came out and then... Um, Express Tribune picked up the content and they published it also, which was very nice of them. And I remember that the other international websites, ya, uh, Facebook pages, where my name and my picture were, there were so many love and comments. Se. So I went to Express Tribune's comment section. Mein gai hun, there were just lots of men writing terrible things. Like not even ke sasti feminists didn't say this stuff. They were saying horrible things about me, my family, my daughter, everybody, right? And I was just thinking to myself, like, what is wrong with these people? Like, they don't even know me. I'm 100% sure they haven't even seen my show. Yeah. They've just come here looking at a woman's picture who is doing work for women and then assume they can say all these terrible things about her. So I think the best thing I do is that I shut it all out. Yeah. I stay silent. I do not waste energy in responding and mm. I move on. Dekho, I think that's beautiful. I think I know that's not uh, something everybody would want to do. No, though. no, I understand that, but I think that's beautiful that you do it. But I will say this: I used to take it personally. Yeah, there's no other way to take this. Mm. You know, so so huh? even even if you're so obviously people propel themselves forward using this stuff, this emotion, this negativity, all of those things. Having said that, um, I think you absolutely must take it personally. There's no other way to take it. आप मेरी जात को आप मेरी बच्ची को या मेरे मिया को बाद में मुझे ये भले बोलना कि I didn't mean it. I don't, yeah. I don't care, man. Yeah. It's just not something you say. Yeah. It's just not like um, so. I have you know a very small following, but even उसमें there's people that will just get into uh, you know तुम्हारी माँ तुम्हारा भाई तुम्हारी बहन and so then I don't get into their माँ बहन और भाई but then I get into them. I'm like listen, man. I actually just make it a point that okay, now there will be no other conversation. Now talk to me. What made you think? And I'm still trying to be constructive, sure, but I'm like, what made you think it was all right to say that? Did you want my attention? What was going to happen after you got it? Hmm. Now you have my attention. Did anything change? Nothing changed. You've just upset me for no reason at all. I'm not trying to do anything bad. Yeah, There's you no could agenda. have just engaged with me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And and I'm for the most part I think I'm quite friendly when when you engage with me in sano kitana. But then you'll say something like this about my you know mom or, or my or my friends anyone really. Why? I think. Meri ye theory hai ki it's because we have a societal problem with asa se kam tari, and we just all want to be recognized hmm. for whatever whatever it takes. We just want to be recognized. And to that end, I think we do some horrible things. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I think we do some really, really terrible things. Allah rahim karega. Well, so tell me when you started, hmm. right? You've told me already what the philosophy was generally. Was there an end in sight? Was there an end in mind? Ki yaar, मतलब बस यहाँ तक ही करना है और वॉज एर वॉज एर समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉट गोइंग ऑन सो देर वॉज नेवर एन एंड इन साइट आई थिंक आई जस्ट डेंट नो कि मैं किस वे जाऊँगी बिकॉज आई स्टार्ट ऑफ विद अ फेसबुक कम्यूनिटी बट देन आई केम इन टू फिल्म मेकिंग एंड आई डेंट जस्ट कम इन टू फिल्म मेकिंग पहले तो वो सिर्फ एक शो था कॉन्वर्सेशन विद कवल but then i did documentaries um i tried to like i did the web series yep. the fictional web series yep. so i feel like um every i remember four f- or five years ago one of anis's cousin said ki have you made a five year plan for yourself or a 10 year plan yeah. and i was like i don't even have a five minute plan yeah, right like i What's don't know what i'm going to be doing in the next five minutes yeah, yeah um so having said that i'm just i feel like i don't know if that's the same with you but i feel like 
with me at least my interests take me where i want to go and also i've i've been lucky ki my uh, interest also paved the way for um what i what i was meant to do kyunki like community ke baad the most obvious thing now that i think about it is that the things we were talking about inside the community had to be spoken of on a broader level mm-hmm. outside of it too yeah. which is what happened with cwk we were already talking about domestic violence sexual abuse um you know uh, different colorism these things inside the group for years and years and years but now people actually knew about all these fascinating stories that we discussed through the show and then uske baad of course um when i got into the show i learned a little bit about filmmaking and about content creation and you know like we like i said cameras and like Mediums. grading and this uh, and that and uh, i was just like you know um i love telling stories and this is i think i want to do more of this so now i think the next obvious step is that i want to do more of it so beyond Inshallah. cwk yeah i i do i do want to tell more stories and i want to tell them visually so i i kind it's of feel it's the best medium yeah yeah it so really i kind is. of feel pulled towards that yeah. um the group goes on the group is a crowdsourced group it's a it's a collective effort so uh, that doesn't stop but i think like this is also something that i personally am focusing a lot on now i think uh i think that's beautiful and i and i do think ki the the visual medium is the best form of storytelling and i think right now is the best time for people like you and i who are not traditionally trained in visual storytelling Bilkul. to get in because now there's experts that will help you with everything Bilkul. right there's ex- and and yahan pe local locally there's people that will take care of everything they're really good right and um, all you have to do is just tell the story बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एंड यू नो आई थिंक वन आई वन आई गॉट इन टूअर दैन आई आस्ट अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड हुज अ प्रोड्यूसर इन कैनेडा कि यार मैं सोच यू मैं कोई कोर्स कर लूँ या मैं यू नो लाइक आई डू लाइक अ मे बी अ टू ईयर डिग्री और समथिंग एंड शी वॉज लाइक यू नो सेव योर सेल्फ द ट्रबल यू आर ऑलरेडी लर्निंग अ लॉट इन द जर्नी जस्ट लर्न टू टेल अ स्टोरी दैट्स इट and yeah what you just said कि लेट द प्रोफेशनल्स और लेट अदर पीपल कम इन ऑन योर टीम टू हेल्प यू टेल इट so that helps and then obviously jab aap baithte hain editor ke sath right when yeah. he's editing you learn so much about the, the software yeah. about premiere about how um how to let's say for example color grading kis tarah se hoti hai all of these technical things i think that you learn them along the way uh, obviously to. it would make a world of a difference if i studied filmmaking too yeah um, but i would actually i would actually make the argument it would make a difference but it wouldn't make a difference the way we imagine it would because then you'd be boxed into techniques Yeah. Abina, what what governs your process is the need to tell the story a certain way. So the need is primary versus the technique being primary. Ha. Usme aise hota hai ki yaar J cut wo achhi cheez hoti hai. Ab J cut ke liye jagah dhoonde versus uh, I I I totally feel you because sometimes you know I just want to do stuff and um I feel like y- y- aapki jo flexibility hoti hai wo zyada hoti hai when you yehi baat ki you've not been boxed into yeah, that yeah. technicality issue um and sometimes maybe it might seem very off to people who've studied it ke oh this breaks the rules of yeah. filmmaking but it still looks good yeah dude that's it right and and it, it's not about wahi wali baat hai na those rules you learn them you learn them to break them for me the thing is if you are governed by conventions um there's only so much you can do and especially with the kind of conversation like for instance i tell you this um it, this is not uh, easy for me to admit but also what is uh i learned about i learned the full scale not scale but the full scope of uh pmsing and periods when i was 27 i'm 29 i have two sisters allah unko hati de or what was i doing for the re- for the past like what how many years it's just such a bad word you know and that's what conventions do is can men not supposed to know why aren't they supposed to know about this right yeah. what what's the problem here why is it so bad to talk about it theek hai dekhen don't be irreverent or disrespectful right don't do that don't uh, crack jokes about it it's not yours to govern this or monopolize this narrative but having said that you still need to have conversations and conversations like yours would require you to shatter conventions bilkul unko pata bhi hai bahar podcast andar podcast ho rahi hai lekin itni zor se baat karni behrad ha yeah but Yeah, dude. I, I I think yeah. Go into storytelling of every sort. Is there something that you're working on that you can't talk about? Um, I'm. Abhi, though, I'm just working on finishing up CWK. Inshallah. 
राइट अभी उसका एडिट्स आज स्टार्ट हुए लाइक आई टोल्ड यू सो दैट्स गो ऑन फॉर अ मंथ एंड वाइल दैट्स गोइंग ऑन आई एम गोइंग टू बी वर्किंग ऑन रिसर्चिंग फॉर डॉक्यूमेंट्री आई वॉन्ट टू शूट अबाउट वट आई कॉन्ट टेल यू दैट कैन बी डांस अराउंड इट वो यू मीन डांस अराउंड बट इट्स गोन बी शॉर्ट इन पाकिस्तान इन कैनेडा So it's like a cross cultural thing but oh. it's not about immigrants. No no that's fine. I we're all immigrants. It's fine. Um yeah. I immigrated from Hyderabad to Karachi. That's so cool. Yeah. I yeah. went to Hyderabad in October when I was um shooting my documentary there. Okay. Yeah, that was Shubo release pyo gaya. Alhamdulillah. That was for the US embassy. What's that one called? Um it's uh, it's about uh like I I shot one in uh, Hyderabad one in Peshawar and they were about um Uh, female activists who are also working on ground through their organizations to um really serve women in their communities and i chose hyderabad and peshawar because i feel like they're very underrepresented sure on sure. media and i felt like um both of these women are doing like some amazing work one of them ha- has created a physical safe space in every police station across sindh um yeah which we oh. don't even know about it's called women protection cells wow marvi avan so she does she's done that and she's a civilian she's not a politician she's not someone who's come from like some huge family no she's a normal girl who had an idea and she just took the right steps to implement it and the other were other girl who um we filmed uh, is called shavana and shavana also has uh, an ngo that she co-founded with her mom that uh, serves women in their community through lots of different means through like they give them help they give them advice and then they also help them financially beautiful so unki maine stories cover ki thi so i visited your hometown ha bhai alhamdulillah i haven't visited in a while yeah. um, but okay finishing thoughts because now you really do need yeah. to finishing thoughts absolutely um, ये जो कंटेम्प्रेरी फेमिनिस्ट या कंटेम्प्रेरी वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट थियोरीज फेमिनिज्म वगैरह है डू यू आई नो बिकॉज यू स्पोकन अबाउट दिस आई नो यू डोंट अग्री विद इट होल सेल राइट हाउ डू यू हाउ डू यू एंगेज विद दैम and what ha- is contemporary feminist theorem all men are pigs all men should die uh, oh yeah ka- kazi mar de ipso facto he should not be allowed to no, talk no, at I, all i don't agree with that yeah but dekho they are also coming from a place of hurt Hmm. I think let's just be fair to at least that much that we takleef se aa rahe hain how in your mind how do you engage with them and maybe maybe um just get them to a point where we can start having a conversation I think you you're already at that point uh, through your podcast you're doing that I think it's all just about um you know the the right discourse in society because as you very rightly said they're also coming from place of hurt oh, they've yeah. been through things that make them feel this way and similarly when men say not all men type hashtags so wo ek alag extreme hai because they're making themselves part of this narrative that okay now like right now is not your time to speak yeah. if women are saying me too you don't have to say not all men yeah right yeah. so i feel like um all of these things only require people to talk to each other and by talking i don't mean like people making twitter threads and then fighting about no. it i mean like things like these like what you're doing i think we need more content um out there that's that's just that just has real people talking about this stuff or or even fictional content that's challenging you know prevalent narratives in society i feel like that's so important or wo koi nahi bana raha no fictional content or i don't mean like some high budget films i mean even just regular web series or light content that just smashes one stereotype an episode like yeah. right you know like really light stuff that needs to exist and it doesn't right now no. and when stuff like this doesn't exist there's not stuff in pop culture that you can reference to or that you can think about on the daily um and to really hear something hardcore you have to watch a documentary which nobody watches so no. फिर वो आई फील लाइक दैट रियली सफोकेट्स द वे दैट वी थिंक एंड आई नो कि नेटफ्लिक्स पे आप बहुत सी चीज़ें देख सकते हैं दैट आर वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव बट दैट्स नॉट योर कल्चर यू कॉन्ट रिलेट टू इट एट अ वेरी पर्सनल लेवल लाइक यू कॉन्ट पुट योर सेल्फ इन यू नो इवन मेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल द सीरीज इट वॉज अमेजिंग बट अ वुमेन इन पाकिस्तान कैन नेवर पुट योर सेल्फ इन द पोजिशन ऑफ दू जस्ट कैन यू कैन बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव दैट सिस्टम सेटअप यूर इवन अगर उसके पास बहुत ही हॉरेबल शेल्टर सिस्टम था लेकिन था तो सही ना Yeah, it's a different world. She, yeah, so world. and when we're watching our dramas, us maybe a woman is going through abuse, but she eats food, eats, and at the end, she gets married to her husband. So, that, 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 that,
you you could have shown something else as well right like you could have shown some form of rebellion you could have shown some form of women standing up for herself and not being a doormat like in wo bhi nahi dikha rahe so i think ki wo wo wala cycle agar zara toot jana i really i'm i'm one of those people who really believe in the power of content and media and all of that absolutely yes so yes. but you 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 think we're edging towards no. we're not even edging towards no. it no Wait, wait. what which progressive drama ek aaya tha dil um now umeed to nahi wo bahut acha tha uh, it's a very nice drama very nicely done yeah i just loved it yeah. but usko bhi wo hype nahi mili jo se milni chahiye thi uh-huh. um other than that i think rakeeb se which featured hadiga ke ani was quite good um but again it wasn't um it wasn't something ground breaking either it was very nice it was like a beautiful picture like somebody painted a beautiful picture it was very nice so i and i i don't know how many like gen z and millennials are actually watching dramas now um, they're not and that's why uh, the importance of content and also something else that you said that i continue to say in different forms apne bola ki that made wala context yeah netflix ke shows wale in- protagonists or antagonists we can only relate to them so much right. we have to suspend our disbelief yeah. that's what we have to do why yeah. because that's not our context and similarly हम जब गुफ्तु करते हैं वी होल सेल इम्पोर्ट डिस कोर्स एंड लैंग्वेज फ्राम अब्रॉड बट हम ये सकाफत रखते हैं कि हम अपनी बना सकते हैं Khair, I I think we could continue going on for We could. For, I know? think we could sit here for another hour. I think so. But I have to rush. Yeah, absolutely. Kamal, thank you. Thank right. you so much. Uh thank you for all the work that you do. Uh wonderful work and Allah aapko hayati de aur apne usme maan rakhe inshallah. Um plug your stuff. Uh your Instagram, Facebook, to Soul Sisters. Uh Instagram and uh, conversations with Kamal on YouTube and yeah. then also your short series everything please just name it. Yeah, uh, huh. I mean I can be found on Kamal Full on various channels. Every channel. And uh, yeah, even my YouTube um I think it's hashtag Kamal Full only. Yeah. So yeah, but my show is conversations with Kamal. But with thank Kabul. you so much for the shout out. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, it's it's yeah, it's it's yeah. whatever. Um thank you. Kamal, Kazi Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>